to say what's expressed on the video board here behind me at the Reds Hall of Fame is felt by all who had the good fortune to meet or be around Tom Browning. Many of them were here today to recall the big hearted way he lived. Tom Browning never made a big deal about himself. Those who knew him spent this afternoon doing just that. And so I was very blessed to get a lot of quality time with what I believe to be one of the most quality men that I've ever met. Mr. Perfect, as he came to be called, left an indelible mark on Reds history, pitching the team's only perfect game ever, 1988 against the Dodgers. I was at that game. Matter of fact, I did the, the dugout scorecard and I made sure he got it after the game. A big lefty who left everyone he met with a laugh, a story, or maybe an invite to go fishing. Larry Luber's first road trip as a major leaguer was in Chicago. Browning, his mentor, said, look for him in the third inning. So I'm looking around in a dugout for him and everything else, thinking I have to go get him a cup of coffee or whatever the rookies do, right? And come to find out he's up on the rooftop. He won game three in the 1990 World Series, an All-Star in 91, a Reds Hall of Fame inductee in 06. But the stats and awards were not the essence of the man. Father of six, grandfather of nine, including Nick, who throws heat for St. Henry. The team was here to pay their respects and recall special school days. Bring your parents to school day and stuff like that. And I think Mr. Browning was probably the coolest one. He was like a scuffed up baseball, casual in manner, yet a smart student of the game. I would love to play behind him with these three and four hour ball games they got today. If Tommy's pitching, it's probably gonna be an hour and a half or two hours. That would have been fun to play behind. Though visitation was private, the Reds provided brief video of the We'll Miss You banner and Browning photos. And although no longer a physical presence in this community, as a lasting memory, Browning was celebrated today in a way that was, well, perfect. Tom Browning, one of those guys who never lost his boyhood wonder. He thought the world of Joe Nuxall couldn't get enough of those big red machine stories when he was around those guys. Local, loyal, and loved. They're working on a Browning exhibit at the Reds Hall of Fame behind me. Look for that this season. Live at the Great American Ballpark, John London, WWT.